Hey guys, I'm here, and welcome back to another episode of Terraria. And in this episode, I have acquired a crimson key, and I'm going to open the crimson chest. And now this took me like freaking forever to find, because my dungeon that I'm like opening the chest in is like goddamn insanely huge. So finally found it in the bottomless depths of the freaking dungeon. And yeah, so in the Halloween update, uh, there was a change to how you acquire the keys. Right here, I have the crimson key, but, and I should have probably crafted it to show you how to craft it. But I have a mold here, which you get the mold as the same drop chance as the old jungle key, so one in four thousand chance, and that's pretty hard. And I did use a f like a grinder to get these. I might I might make a video on that, but not for now. And basically, you combine with a temple key, which makes sense because. You know, key mold, and then you just quiet with five souls of sight, five souls of fright, and five souls of might from the mechanical bosses. So yeah, I did not have enough sight or fright, and I was too lazy to go kill them again. So yeah, I just have items here, and basically you can craft it anywhere, so you don't need to be at the crafting table or anything, or anvil or anything, and then you just craft it, and then you get your key, and let's go open this. I have like a million souls of might, and look what I got as a random drop. Okay, let's open this. And in this chest, we should get yes, the vampire knives. Vampire knives are the basically the strongest melee weapon in the game because well, you'll see. If I switch out from my specter staff. It shoots out like a spray of six uh, knives. Basically, it doesn't cost any mana, and you can throw this really fast. And as you can see there, as Vampire implies, it does life steal. I don't have turtle armor right now, but basically, you can. This is basically Spectre armor in melee form, which is really good. So, yeah, for those of you who know who don't know what Spectre is, I'll cover that in a video. But basically, the same thing as this. And this is really good. It's really freaking good. It's not as good as Spectre Armor because you can do heavy amounts of damage, like more amounts of damage, but this is still pretty boss. If you hit all of them, it just does so much damage. So, I will cut. Actually, will I cut? I probably won't cut. But I will equip some Turtle Armor, and I will go fight the, uh, the freaking Destroyer. <coughs> Sorry about that cough there we go so the destroyer is gonna hit shit rock basically and we shouldn't die because the heal is enough to sustain us even though it only heals like one or two per thingies uh, it like heals for enough that it's basically like I don't take any barely enough damage to die so the thing it's not uh, Night, which makes me really sad, so I might have to cut this, but I'll check out a different world. One of these has to be night. Yep, there we go. And this is actually my arena map, so yeah. That's nice. So I will only using these for the fight. I could use other stuff, but this is really good too. So useless buffs basically and boom why not summon Aikatsulu why not and this is what we do yeah we just stand here and kill I'll kill you first that's actually a crazy amount of damage because if you just oh Jesus so if you hit all the like things it just does ridiculous amount of damage and I'm only taking like 14 damage max from these hits because turtle armor is just so much defense. Also, in the Halloween update, there was retextured, uh, like consumable drops. I guess you would call them. So yeah, that's cool. And I'm probably just gonna fast forward the video because there's nothing to see here. Wow, I still don't take any damage. That's insane. Even though I'm using the key brand. Yeah, this is overpowered. So turtle armor is pretty overpowered. So this 
like basically makes melee characters or fighters like really insanely powerful. Like, so this is probably one you want to farm. And yeah, so I'll probably just speed up the video. And there we go. Easiest boss fight ever. And I just got a million more souls of might. <laughs> so yeah, that is the vampire knives and the crimson chest and the crimson key. Not the crimson key mold because I'm bad, but yep. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.